What's up, guys? And we're back for another episode of West of Loathing. Now, off camera, I did some slight leveling up, you know, just enough to get me to outfoxing, maxed, lockpicking, maxed, upgrade my hellbender blood beans, and upgrade most of my combat skills and a bit of my stats. You know, just a tad. But yeah, we're going to be picking up right where we left off. Uh, no, uh, map. The Daveyard was the only area that I, uh, went to. Um. Let's see. Let us start off with... Hmm. I think we should continue doing the Sheriff quest, so... Let's check out the Potemkin... Potem... <laughs> Potemkin gang. You see a glint of light in the distance. When you get closer, you realize that on it was the sun reflecting off the lens of a discarded pair of binoculars on the ground. You got disposable binoculars. These will come in handy. They will also come in pairs, because otherwise they wouldn't be binoculars. Fair point. Ew, huh. Gary wants to tell us something. It's your partner. Gary. Alright. Hey there, Gary. Oh, oh, nearing a weird cave. What? Gary was out here once, finding a cave of humming. Very strange. Too scary. Well, that sounds interesting. Uh, yeah. Found humming cave. Am I forgetting anything? Gary suggests dealing with the millinery bandits. Thanks for the reminder, Gary. No entry. <laughs> a bar. <laughs> Real jail. NON-FAKE HORSE SALES! Yikes. So she's running away. Genuine TNT and sandwiches. Town hall for an actual town. What a legend. The bandit looks distraught. I lost my belt buckle. Oh, do I have to make them go over to someplace? Uh, sure. Did you check near the bar? I guess. So, they're all over there. Okay. I don't know what the point of moving them around is, but... You duck into the outhouse and plan your next move. While you're pondering, you notice something weird. The outhouse, the outhouse has a back door. Okay, I'll check through the back door. Whoa, that music is inverse. That's pretty cool. Uh, this doesn't seem safe at all. TNT, right here. And... Hefty load. Oh, I get it. Am I supposed to... Uh, am I supposed to get them to... Um... To, uh... Uh, get hit by this? So I'm assuming we could... Blow up the TNT. Which could kill them. Or we could... Um, you lock, uh, this. This is the back of the jail. Turns out it's just flat plywood, like a theatrical set. The ropes that are holding this thing up don't look very strong. You could knock it over pretty easily, but you should probably hold off until the right moment. Yeah, I think, it, so, I've been noticing that, uh, when we went to, uh, get the other episodes, we could have just easily run, ran in and fought them both times and killed them. But instead, we found a different solution. So I'm assuming that we can either... Visiting hours are over and runs to stop you. Oh, so we're supposed to get them all into the same area and then knock it over. That's how it is. Uh, yeah, did you look near the jail? Okay, let him go. Uh, good luck with that. Okay. So I'll just, uh, get her to go all the way back to the beginning. Now they're all next to the jail, so... Can I knock it over now? Or do I need, do I need something, like in my inventory? 
Oh yeah, speaking of which, um... I, uh, put on nerd mode and the combat grid last time, so, um... Best font mode. I didn't see this time. Changes the typeface of the game to Arial! Yes! Best font! What a legend. Yeah, but no, that's garbage. At least it's not Comic Sans. Alright, let's go. Cut the rope. This is... That is... Alright, never mind. I think that's the thing that killed them. This is the back of the jail. Turns out it's just a flat but crash. The fake ban the fake building falls over on the real bandits. I'm gonna walk away. I don't wanna be responsible for that. What, it, it, how are you still alive? I am impressed. You're still going to jail though. Uh, the gang is knocked out. You can arrest them now if you want. You haul the sorry so-and-sos back to dirt water and lock them in the jail. Say, that's the potem- <coughs> <coughs> The potemkin gang. How'd you get them? Push the jail over on them. What? Never mind. All in a day's work. Hey, wait a minute. That's 2,600. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, just wanted to say hi. Uh, yeah. Okay. There is this last one. The Gherkin Brothers. Gherkin? Isn't that like a pickle? Or something like that? For kidnapping... Brining kidnapping victims. Yeah! An attempted sale of human flesh for consumption! <laughs> Let's see at the old abandoned pickle factory. Jeez! That's not... Kill if these dastardly criminals escape justice. It wouldn't be kosher. Would you like to investigate? Yeah. You mark the old pickle factory on your map. Hopefully chasing them down won't get you into a real... Yet. Oh, really? Okay. I found the abandoned pickle factory. Uh, alright. See, anything else that I can do? Oh, yeah. Doug set up shop here. Howdy, Doug. Well if, it is, well, if it isn't my savior, good old Kerbob. Howdy yourself. The sign outside. Yeah, I had to change the name. I tried to file a trademark, and it turns out there's already something called a hot dog. What is it? Trust me, you don't want to know. I wish I didn't know. Anyway, a single letter removed, and I'm in business. He gestures at the menu on the walls behind him. Let's see some. Let's see what he has. An elegant hawk dog increases your mysticality by six for the rest of the day. A jumbo dog, muscle by six. And sauce. <laughs> Saucy dog increases your moxie by six for the rest of the day. Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, so we checked out uh, the Putinkin gang. Um... So there's the Humming Cave and the Abandoned Pickle Factory up north. But I'm going to go to Button Willow. Oh my god, the crazy horse's footsteps go backwards sometimes. Uh, I found the Stearns Ranch. I'll check that out later. Hey, Button Willow. Mind your meat, I'll buy it. And I'll buy a hammer and a pickaxe in just a second. One moment. Gives you the dickering skill. You read the book from cover to cover and learned, among other things, that its cover was price was way too high. Nice. After you're done reading it, you use your newfound skills to pawn it off on a wide-eyed rube for 60 meat. Nice. <clears throat> Hey, and now everything's cheaper. And if I... I'm willing to bet that if I upgrade it, everything will get cheaper. E even more so. Uh, let me just check the character. Uh, Dickerin. 
50 XP, 15% discount. So I'm assuming that's 15%, 20%, 20%, 30% discount at stores. That would be really helpful uh, later in the game. Alright, let's check it out. Uh, we'll get the last thing that I needed, the pickaxe or whatever it was later. I want to check out... Mm, I will take a look at the old millinery. You found a pair of saddlebags slung over the over a tree branch. Stenciled letters on the side read property of Fort All Dead Library. <laughs> Please tell me we can go to Fort All Dead. I <laughs> I want to go to Fort All Dead. Not gonna lie, I want to go to Fort All Dead. Uh, the book is full of book. The bag is full of books, most mostly boring military fueled manuals. You do find one of a specific interest to you, though. You got an item, Advanced Bean Craft Volume L. So, what's L in Roman numerals? It's been a while. What is it like? I is one, V is five, X is ten. Is L 50? I think L might be 50. I'm not sure, though. This is a cookbook. A cookbook specializing in bean recipes. Alright, I want to learn a new bean slinging skill. Bean wall. Uh, a wall of beans that provide cover from ranged attacks. Use the old bean. Temporarily increases your mysticality during a fight. And butter bean. Um, I mean... I learned a bunch of stuff about uh, my partner while I was um, uh, while I was grinding. Turns out Gary has an ability that can lower the uh, opponent's muscle, mysticality, and moxie. Um, he can also duplicate himself, which is really cool. Disturbing, but very cool. And I don't know. It's use the old bean is only for like one fight, so I'll use. I mean, so is Bean Wall, but. I think I want to protect myself from um, projectiles. That will help me a lot against uh, bean, not bean slingers, um, uh, snake oilers. <clears throat> you practice making hills of beans flatter and flatter until they become walls. You got a skill, bean wall. Unfortunately, just as you finally master the technique, you drop the book on the other side of one of the walls and lose it. Dang. Let's check out the hats, millinery. <laughs> are these the guys who are selling horse glue or something like that? You walk into the millin millinery and find five bandits lounging around on big piles of half-made hats. It's the law! Skedaddle! The bandits scatter like cockroaches, each shutting themselves behind a different door. Guess you'll have to wrangle them individually. Fine. Alright. What's behind door number one? Oh, it's a puzzle. I need to figure out who it, who's there. Jacuz. So I, I need to find out who's different. <coughs> Aha, that one just moved. Jacuz. And I'll take door number three now. Oh, hey, that one uh, over here looks slightly different. The thing isn't as uh, rounded. Yeah. Wait, do you hear that? I think I hear something. Yeah, I hear snoring. There we go. Jacuz. <coughs> yep. No oh, piano. I'll check that out later. I'm not seeing anything.
I can't hear anything. Brims, brims, brims. Even more brims. There's a lot of boxes that say brims in here. Am I supposed to, like, do something outside? Like, maybe do something on the piles of hats to, like, change the brims or something of them in here? And that'll do something? Because I can't see anything here. I'm probably being a moron. So feel free to yell at me in the comments. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of comments, uh, what do you want me to play next? Um, Subnautica or Papers, Please? Both uh, really good games. Uh, what do you want me to play next? Uh, apparently the demo model from a player piano showroom. It's only got three songs in it. They're all children children's versions of traditional songs that are in the recently invented public domain. And they're all set up to play just the first few seconds on a loop. The people who worked here must have hated it. What songs do you uh, want to set the dial to? <clears throat> the Yellow Rose of Public Domain. No, that didn't change any of the brims. I'm not sure why it would, but sure. Uh, uh, no, uh, my house public domain. No, brims didn't change, and they're all facing, like, kind of diagonally. They're all kind of facing, like, this way. Uh, like this way in this direction. So I don't know. Maybe if I do it again. Uh public domain Joe. You changed the song on the piano. Is that whistling you hear? Da, 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 da. Hey that's what it's supposed to be. Wake up <laughs> But I saw this office area over here. Aw, oh, come on, I don't have a needle? Really? Ah, uh, come on. Alright, let's take these losers to jail. Turn them in. Where'd you find them? The old millinery? Yep, of course. You know, bandits would be a lot harder to find if they didn't keep... Picking such thematic hideouts for some reason. Anyway, here's the reward. Ooh, 75 gold. Uh, not 75 gold. 75 experience. In fact, Dickerin. This empty cell is all ghostly. So I'm assuming that's the last one. Alright. I'm gonna head up to the abandoned pickle factory. There's a dusty wooden crate lying near the trail and it turns out to be half full of old dynamite. That's uh, probably not something that should be just be lying out in the sun like that. Yep. You carefully pick out the freshest looking sticks and get away from the rest of it as quick as possible. Alright, I got some dynamite. Haunted pickle factory. So that's why the skeleton is the cell is ghostly. Why do why do why do they have a ghost cell? This doesn't look good. I don't appreciate this. You feel a sudden electrical jolt as your hand touches the doorknob. Ouch. Oh no, you're late for your shift. Mrs. Blast is going to be so mad. She might literally bite your head off. Okay, well not literally literally. Probably. Quick, get suited up. You clock in and hurriedly pat, put on your bright green o coveralls. Mrs. Vlas, as predicted, is furious. Late again? 
You better stop taking this job for granted. You think you're going to find a place with a nice dormitory in a reasonably priced company store like ours somewhere else? With your skills? Ha, you're doing three shifts today, Buster. Get on work. You're on pickle hopper duty. Start your shift. Pickle hopper duty runs you ragged like always. Keeping the hoppers filled to keep a constant flow down the chutes means you're constantly at a near sprint because you have to manage this, the cuke Suk shuns to keep the levels equal. If you get uneven pickle levels, Mrs. Glass knows. Nobody knows how she knows, but she knows. A whack from her cane is the minimum you get. Alright. Damn it, damn it, damn it. At the end of your first six-hour shift, you get a brief break. You cram a stale cheese sandwich into your mouth while Mrs. Mrs. Glass glares at her pocket watch, counting down three minutes to the second. Breaks over. Second shift. You get over to the salt take. Now. Oh, God. Managing the salt tank isn't as strenuous as the pickle hoppers, but it's still a never-ending tension. The brine concentration has to be constantly monitored to ke and kept at a very specific measurement, well, means, which means constant adjustments. Meanwhile, you can feel yourself desiccating from the haze of salt dust that fills the room. If anything in this place kills you, it's probably going to be the salt tank duty. White lung is nasty business. Cough. Cough on your own time and get that salinity back to normal. It's supposed to be 976 per thousand. How hard is that to remember? 976. Alright, I'm assuming that I'm going to have to write this down. So, the first one, it needs to be equal. Second one, 976. Please let me out of here. You get another 180 second break before the third shift. You spread most of it drinking water. The company doesn't charge for water, but you're, you've heard a rumor they're considering it. Break's over. Get to the boiler. Oh no, please let me out. Boiler duty means shoveling coal into a furnace. A furnace that runs on a giant tank of boiling vinegar. It stings in here. You've tried to work with your eyes closed, but Mrs. Blast screams if you drop any coal on the floor. If, or if you let the temperature get too low or too high. Or for just no particular reason. At least you are used to the smell of boiling vinegar. In fact, you can't smell anything anymore. Let me out. Please let me out. 190 degrees, idiot. Not 189. Not 191. What do you think we are? What do you think we pay you for? You don't really miss your sense of smell. Or not coughing all the time. You don't really want anything anymore. Except to die. Let me out. 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 With a gasp, you finally snap out of the horrible hallucination, or possession, or whatever the hell that was. Jeez, you can still feel the sting of vinegar vapor in your eyes. Enter the pickle factory. Yeah. So, 900, so equal, 976, 190. I'm just going to start here. The salinity meter reads 531 parts. Okay. Pull lever. Okay. Pull it. So that increases by 10. That increases by 1. 976, I think it said so. You approach the ghost. Salt, salt, salt. Gotta salt the salt, salt. Uh, the salt is correct. It's... It's finally done. Thank you. The ghost smiles as he fades away. A few bones hit the ground below. You got an item. Salt-crusted skull. Rest in peace. So the other one was 190, wasn't it? It's not... You approach the ghost. It's not right. It's not right. Uh, leave him to his misery. Take the shovel. Hey, I got a shovel! Wait, did I already have a shovel? Um, let me see. Uh, wait, no, uh, it's inventory. Yeah, I already had a shovel. I need a pickaxe, that's what I need. Uh, add some coal. 93 degrees, so I need a 190. So, one... So that's three shovels, and that equals to eight degrees up. And... One is three, six, okay. Thirteen.
the vinegar is in 190 degrees. It's, it's finally done. Thank you. The ghost smiles as he fades away. A few bones hit the f ground below it. I got vinegar-soaked bones. Yeah, so I'm probably not going to be talking much because I need to focus on how uh, on how to balance this stuff out. Because, okay. So the cuke shunt one, it increases the first one and lowers the other two. Okay. So that's what, that's what needs to be done. Twelve, ten, eleven. Eleven, twelve, ten. If I do all that, oh, we're back to the beginning now. Aha, I get it. So that's twenty-two, that's six, five. Yeah, we got it. All right, I took uh, care of the cucumbers. Um, the pile of bones and cucumbers. Rest in peace. <clears throat> there we go. We finally did it. And then it's factory activation lever. Pull it. You pull the lever, and there's a deafening roar as the old machinery springs into life. After a while, a load of pickles is deposited in the receptacle to the left of the switch. You got item. Three ghost pickles. Right, only three? Huh, all that work for three pickles? No wonder this place went out of business. Yeah. Well, I mean... Okay, so, wait, hold on. Hold on one second. The door just leads to an empty, dusty room. Huh, you could have sworn there were a bunch of cucumber storage tubs in there. Same here, I guess, and same here. Alright, I'm just gonna go run back to dirt water because I am shit terrified. <sighs> um you catch a whiff of something that makes your eyes water. You trace it to its source, a vividly covered red shape hanging from a scraggly little plant. That must be the southeast western murder pepper that feller at the jewel was looking for. Nice. I was gonna uh, search around for it after I got this uh, this stuff back to the sheriff. Your finger and thumb immediately start throbbing as you pluck the pepper. You toss it into your rucksack and before it can do any more damage. Alright. Hot. God damn.
Uh, yeah, here's the murder pepper. Uh, hey, I got the key to the P.O. Box 441. Uh, I ordered a new saute knife. Wait a minute. So, that I probably pronounced this wrong. I'm... It's early in the morning when I'm recording this. I'm probably dead on the inside. Um, I haven't got time to go fetch it myself. Here's the key to my post box. Yep, alright, there we go. I mean, he wouldn't miss it if something, you know, went missing. Ethel and Biff. Alright, any up. Uh, 40%, check. Call. Uh, forcefully strategize. Move on to the next round. Forcefully, uh, Moxley strategize. 180 meat. Nice. Alright. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I'm just going to keep strategizing and, st and stuff. Uh, 50%, how about we make that 60%? I gain it, yes. I don't think I've lost a game in, of, a uh, poker, with quotation marks, in a while. Uh, open box 441. I got a saute knife. I think that's how you pronounce it. Probably not. Oh, hey, the jail. Uh, here. Give her the pickle factory remains. What in the world? It's the Gherkin brothers, and please, I don't want to talk about it. It was really weird. I believe you. Here's the reward. 1,500 me, 60 XP. Huh, looks like these things are still twitching. Better lock them up to be safe. And there we have it. All the criminals in this town locked up. Oh, hey, good to see you. You know, you've really cleaned up the area. I'm plumb out of bounties for you. Does that mean I get to be sheriff? No, but I guess you could be a marshal if you want. Oh, what a coincidence. That's my middle name. Well, thanks for, again for all your help, marshal. No problem. So, wait, my middle name is Danger. So, it's... Wait, was it... No, it was Sneaky. So, my name is... So, just to put this in perspective, my name is Kerbob Danger. Marshall Herkinson. What an actual legend. Alright, so, um... Nothing I can really do yet, so... Alright, let's check this out. Uh, inventory, saute knife, um... Even though you're holding it, you're still pretty sure there's no such thing as a saute knife. Anyway, it's too thin to use as a weapon, so it's not even worth stealing. Aw, oh, come on! I still want to steal, steal it to sell it off somewhere. I'm sure uh, Button Willow will take it. Eh, whatever. The Jewel Salon. Oh my god. Ah! The Jewel Saloon. Have you got my knife? Yep, here you go. Excellent, this will work a lot better than the hammer I was using. Okay, I only need one more favor from you, but it's the most important. I used to have this recipe in, for, for a very secret jerk sauce, but my friend, but my jerk friend Dave J stole it from me, and then he died and took the secret to his grave. Literally, I mean, he was buried with it. You want me to dig up his grave? He's dead, he won't mind. Jesus! These guys are jerks! Oh, uh, okay. I can't believe I just agreed to becoming a grave robber. I mean, I have no objections to it, so I'm gonna go head over there. Uh, you espy an empty whiskey bottle sitting on the fence post uh, about 60 paces away. Try to shoot it. With a single crack, you shoot and crack this single bottle. With a single crack shot, you shoot and crack the single bottle. Nice shooting. All right, the Dave Yard. What a, what was his name? Dave J. Yeah, Dave J. Remember, <laughs> pal. Jeez. Uh, dig up the grave. You dig up the grave and pry open the coffin. Instead of a corpse, it contains a garbage bag. Reach inside. Reach into the garbage bag and surprise to find that it's full of pudding. No, it's not just pudding. It's pudding and motor oil. What? All right. 
We finally manage to reach all the way to the bottom of the bag and retrieve a sodden lump from the bottom. You unglob the wad and dry it off. Then you wash your arm in a nearby ditch. This better be worth it. All right. All right, let's head back to dirt water. Shaggy Dog Cave. Your keen eyes detect a secluded cave in the near distance. Exploring it would definitely be a good use of your time. Uh, I'm going to continue to my destination, but Shaggy Dog Cave. What? What a name. Alright, here, take your uh, recipe. Hey, thanks a million, buddy. Now my slop will be world famous. Here, let me give you something for all your troubles. It fell in the slop, but it's still good. The sloppy chef's hat. On a day's work. Alright, let's take a look. Plus three mysticality. Oh, hell yeah. It's plus two mysticality for me. Anywho. I think I'm gonna uh, end the episode off wandering around a bit. Snake pit mine. Uh, alright then, um, just one more thing. You hear a groaning noise a short distance away and investigate. A cowpoke is sitting against a rock with his leg bent in a way that seems incorrect. What happened? Dang horse threw a rod and I fell off. Think I busted one of my dancing arms. Uh, I'll give him a ride back to dirt water. Thank you kindly, stranger. I'd say I owe you one, but it seems doubtful we'll ever meet you again. No problem. Well, I just got a little bit of experience. Um, uh, character. Nah, I'll upgrade Dickerin. But guys, that is where I'll leave the episode off. I'll see you guys in the next episode.